the St. Breaca, the kind of very, very local uh, Cornish saint who I had not heard of before. I don't think anyone has if you're not from that area. And yet it speaks of this whole tradition that we that we all don't know about. And that's exciting, you know, unknown knowledge which you discover. And uh, that this place, you know, that there's a, uh, there's a Celtic cross outside the church, uh, which is, dates from something like the 4th or 5th century and yet it's from stone which is from at least 200 miles away. So how did it get there? St. Breaca, the actual churchyard, is uh, in the shape of a circle, which I was told that really speaks to this being a more pagan site. So the churchyard, the idea of it being circular, means that it was originally used for something very different before the church then took over. So in the same way that for some churches in um, uh, in England have yew trees that outlive the um, age of Christ. Here, the church's historic site is circular, speaks to something much, much older. And even inside the church, just they have a, a Roman milestone. They have medieval paintings of St. Christopher and Christ. It surprises me every time the amount of stuff you can find on one small spot. And if you just unpicked that and just kept on going down, what would that tell you about the universe, the life and everything? I'm getting very <laughs> over the top. But, you know, all of these different layers, all of these different lives, all connected to this one spot at St. Breaca.